In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a www.bberror.com slash bb10-0004 message that appears on the screen. Now, I already fixed it, but what's going to happen is you're going to see this appear on your screen, and it's not going to go away, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. Now, on BlackBerry's website, it says that the reason that this is appearing on your screen is because the installed radio software is not supported on the device. This happened to this phone when I ran the autoloader and after the autoloader was finished running and it ran too quickly. It's supposed to run for about 20-25 minutes or maybe longer so it didn't run long enough and as soon as the autoloader went away the phone started to show that message on the screen. Now what happened was I ran an autoloader and the autoloader didn't finish. It just ran briefly, the phone rebooted quickly and then the screen came up. So it says here that the reason why the screen came up is because the installed radio software is not supported on the device. So what likely happened was the autoloader had an error or wasn't the proper autoloader. You have to get the right autoloader. So I'm going to show you which autoloader to use and how to fix this error screen. Now what you have to do is this particular Blackberry is a Blackberry Q20 there's no removable battery. If you look at other tutorials, they'll tell you to remove the battery. Now, you can't remove the battery on this because it's an unremovable battery. So what you have to do is you have to press and hold down the power button on the BlackBerry to turn it off. Now, it will turn off even though the screen is showing this error. If you press and hold the power button for about 10 seconds, the phone will reboot. You have to first open the autoloader, install it. I'm going to show you which one to install for this particular phone. And then you have to press and hold down the power button on the BlackBerry and this error will go away. The phone will reboot and then in the autoloader you're going to see bootloader and then it's going to detect the phone and it's going to start running the autoloader which is going to take about 20 minutes and then the phone will reboot and the error will be gone and the anti-theft protection will also be removed as well. Okay now for the BlackBerry Classic Q20 you're going to need to download the BlackBerry STA100-3 autoloader. So that would be this one right here. This is the one that you're going to need for this particular phone. Now even though it doesn't match the model of the phone, this is the one that worked. I tried other ones and they did not work. One of them actually may have caused the error screen that was on the phone. So this is the one that worked. Before you download this, you're going to need to download BlackBerry Link. To get BlackBerry Link, go to BlackBerry's website and download it. The autoloader will not work without BlackBerry Link. Now once you've downloaded the autoloader, it's going to be right here. So you just open the autoloader by double-clicking it, and then once it's open, then you can proceed to connect the phone to the computer, and then press and hold down the power button, for about 10 seconds and the error screen will go away and then the phone will reboot and then the autoloader should start running. You just have to let the autoloader run as soon as it's finished running this screen will go away and you're gonna hear the USB sound that the phone has disengaged and then it should reboot and start working again. So what's going to happen is this light is going to remain green on the phone while the autoloader is running. And once the autoloader is finished and everything is installed, the green light will go off and then the phone will reboot. And then you could just set the phone up. Okay, so it's booting up. There's the welcome screen. Let's see if the ID was removed and we can access the phone. Okay, so I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi. As you can see, it worked. The yellow triangle with the website on the phone is gone. Okay, now what you have to do is, you're still going to hit the BlackBerry anti-theft protection. So you have to reboot the phone again after you hit that BlackBerry anti-theft protection request to put the ID in. And then you're going to get this screen which can let you sign up the phone from brand new. So as you can see, the anti-theft protection is gone. So I'm going to skip this. Skip.
And there you go. The phone is back up working again. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video. And thank you for tuning in.